Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create a single blog post in Elementor and save it as a template. So let's just begin. Alright, to create the blog post in Elementor and then save it as a template, uh, all we need is to have the Elementor. So if you haven't installed the Elementor, then what you would need to do, you would actually need to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And from here, you have to search for Elementor. Okay, so as you can see here, I have already installed the Elementor. I think I would need to update this. So I'm going to simply update this now. All right. So we have installed and activated the Elementor. And after this, what we need to do, we're going to go inside the post and click on the add new post. All right. So by default, you will jump into or navigate into the default WordPress editor. So I'm going to simply add the name of our post here so I can name it as post template and now I will simply click on edit with Elementor and from here we can actually create our post template okay so right now I would go here with the two column structure okay and here in the first one I would actually like to add the image so I'm going to go into add element and I will simply drag the image here and on the left side I'm going to add the heading and the paragraph as well. So I'm going to simply add the heading and after this I'm going to also add the paragraph into it as well after our heading. Okay and then I think I will need to decrease the size of our heading here. So I'm going to go into the typography and I will change the font size here. So I think I would just go here with maybe 20px and I would change the text here. So this can be our title and here on the paragraph or the text editor we can have our text and here we can add our image here so whatever you want to add here so i'm going to add this image here now just click on select perfect and now i'm going to add a new container okay so in the new container what i would actually like to do here i would actually like to use the flexbox here and this is going to be a single column structure so initially we're gonna have the heading again or we can add the paragraph so whatever you want to add here so we can have our heading here so this can be our let's say main title or something whatever you like to add and after this we're gonna have our paragraph so for the paragraph we can add a single text editor and we can also add the multiple text editor as well okay and after this what we can do here we're gonna go back into our add element and we can add the icon list here so you can see the icon list here so we can simply drag this and put this after our paragraph and from here we can simply add the list items here so in the list items if you wanted to add the icons you can simply add them if you don't want to add the icons you can simply remove them so how can we remove this it's pretty simple you simply click on list item you can simply delete the icon from here we're gonna do the same thing for the second one and we're gonna do the same thing for the third one Alright, so now you can see here we are having our list item without the icons. So you can add any text, whatever you want. And after this, what we can add here, we can again add a kind of image. So let's say we can add the divider here. And we can add any other option, whatever you like to add. So right now, I think I would go here with uh, the button. Or we can also go here with uh, the icons. So whatever you want to add into this. So right now, I'm going to add the button. So in the button, I can, let's say, add contact us or something. So yeah, you can use this one. And we can also change the styling here. So I can do the styling of our uh, main heading here. So let me just add the background color into this. And we can also change the styling into this. So if I go here into the style, into our contact us button, I can actually change the styling here. So I can change the position of it. Uh, I can change the typography of it. Then we have the text shadow. Then we have the text color and after that we also have the background color as well. So in the background color, actually I would go here with the black color. And in the text color, I would actually change this into the white color. We can add some value in the border radius. So I think this would be perfect. We can add the pairing into this. So I think this will look fine. And now what we can do here, we can also change the hover effect. So on the hover effect, the text color should be black and the background color should be white. And we can also add the border radius color, border color, which is actually going to be uh, black. So I think this will look fine. Yes, now this is looking better. And we can also adjust our, you know, the border type and all these stuff. But right now I'm going to keep it like this. 
so we can do the same kind of the styling on to our list items and we can do this on our paragraph we can do this on our main title okay so in the main title we can actually increase the size of our text we can change the alignment of it to the center wherever you like it and then we have the text shadow so if you want to add some text shadow to this you can simply add some text shadow into it but i don't actually want to have any text shadow over here then we have the text color here and we also have the hover effect so you can explore actually these settings here then we can do the same thing on the image we can do this on the paragraph and the title so this is all that we have so if you want to add the more content into this you can simply add this but right now i think this is enough and one thing is that right now we will be saving it as the template which means that whenever we're going to use this somewhere else or in any other post since we want to create this as the template all of these things that we have here the image the title the paragraph then the main title and the button and the list item everything here is the customizable so you can also change the content of it and you can also change the styling of it okay so right now i'm going to simply click on this arrow and i will save this as the template okay so i'm going to name it as let's say post template and click on save perfect now what you're going to do here we're going to actually go back to our wordpress so we're going to simply leave this now what we'll do we're going to simply click on add new post and here i can simply name it as a new post and i'll simply click edit with elementor and in here what i will do i will simply click on the templates and here you have to click on my templates and you will be able to see our post template that we have created recently so i'm going to simply click on insert and click on apply and now you will be able to see the post template that we have created is inserted into our new post so you can see we have the same things here we have our title we have our paragraph then we have our image then we have our main title then we have our text again the list item then the contact us button so let's just consider here that we want to modify this as per our requirement so first of all i'm going to simply change the image here so i can go here let's say with this image i will simply click on select i will simply change the text here so this is going to be let's say c product all right and this is going to be the description of c product okay so i'm going to simply copy this i'm going to paste this now and this is basically how we can change the content here and then similarly we can change the main title here so let's just write down the c product again and now in the same way we can uh, change our text here we can change our list item here then we can also change the button here so in the button i can let's say change the text here to buy now or something so we're gonna change the value here perfect and then what we can do here so let's just see that we wanted to change the background color of our this container so we're gonna go into the style we'll go into the classic we'll go into the color they just change this to the black color in the same way what we're gonna do we're gonna change the color of our paragraph so this is going to be let's see a kind of grayish color and in the same way we're gonna change the color of the heading here so this is going to be the white color all right and we can also change the typography here so i'm going to basically change here the width of our text so this is going to be the bold and i think this is looking fine so in the same way we can add it or style our image here so in the image if you want to change the width here you can simply change the width if you want to change the alignment of it you can simply change the alignment of it and then we have the opacity if i wanted to change the opacity I can simply change the opacity from here okay and then we have the css filters then we have the border type and you can also see that we have the box shadow as well so if you want to add the box shadow you can also do this so this is how you can actually customize your post template that you have already created on a new post okay so now we're going to simply publish this and we'll simply click on preview changes and you will be able to see our new post here okay and this is how we can create a single blog post in Elementor and save it as a template. If you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.